Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 1 of F1 2019 career mode. Yes, it's a year late because I can't afford F1 2020, so. Um, I thought I'd decide this, start this because I'll enjoy F1 and might as well. Uh, I played this game in like my spare time, so I thought, fuck it, why, why not record a new career mode for me to do? So, let's get started. Um, F2 teams, so, Carlin, ART, Dams, Russian Time, MP, Campos, Sharu, Prima, BWT, or Trident. Now the thing is, I don't really want to do F2, so I'm just going to skip. Yeah, I do want to skip. Alright, so. The team that I'm going to start with in Formula 1. I'm not going to choose the top three teams. That's a start. I'm not going to choose McLaren or Haas. So, the top five teams are out of the question. The rest, though, are there for the taking. So, which team do I want to go for? Hmm. I'm deciding between Alfa Romeo and Renault, or Toro Rosso, at the moment. And I'm going to go Toro Rosso. Uh, yep. And my teammate is going to be Pierre Gasly. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into pre season testing. Just to let you know, the races will be 25%, and the level will be 86 because that's about my level. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, um, when the screen loads, we will be at Barcelona for pre-season testing. There we go. So, pre-season testing. Um, let's hope it goes well. Uh, this episode will be pre-season testing and the Australian Grand Prix. Just thought I'd let you know. But yeah, here we are in our Toro Rosso. Um, we will have a lap on the hard tyres. Uh, let's accelerate time a little bit. Science, the first one out on track for pre season testing. Teammate Pierre's got out, so let's go. Got our first lap in of the series. Get used to this. Toro Rosso for Australia. Just a warning, I'm actually driving Daniel Kvyat's car at the moment. As you can see. Let's do this. There's science. I'm excited for this season. Um, obviously, the first season will be the most exciting. Uh, can't wait. Oh, I'll just let Carlos through. I think he was on a flying lap or something. Obviously, on the softs. Weird move. Guess he's going to go for a fast dislap then. Now you're probably wondering why I chose F1 2019. One, I can't afford F1 2020. And two, I play this game a lot in my spare time, so I thought I might as well record stuff that I do on here. And here we are. So yeah. Alright, our first flying lap, let's go. 
bump started. Obviously you can't see the time at the moment because top left's gone. Oh, speed trap, first place, let's go. It said could be out, just imagine it said my name. Out the blocks, we're pretty fast. We're not the fastest though. Red Bull engine, helping though. Greatly through this track. I'm not going to record the full 30 minute practice practice session. I'm just going to record parts of it that I need to. But this is my first actual flying lap, first game in the Toro Rosso for pre season, so I thought I might as well. If you're wondering, I'm using a pad, so. Obviously, you've got to take that into account. Also, I don't think it looks like I'm using a pad, but you know. That's a very strong lap by me. A 123.5. I'll check it. See where everyone else is. Um, Second, okay. Carl's got a 1232, or 1235 on the hearts, and Pierre Gasly got a 125.3 on the hearts. Right. So I think we kind of know where we are in the pecking order. We're kind of competing with McLaren. But, keep me through. Yeah, I'll go into garages and we'll uh, try and improve on this lot. Oh, I'm going to decide that. It'll be automatic ERS, so I won't be controlling it. Just thought that'd make it a bit more interesting, but I do well. All right, five minutes left in the session, um, and we're going out onto the softs. Uh, I'm currently P seven or eight, P nine. Um, Preseason testing, Albon, first place at the moment so let's see if he can keep up that hot streak into Australia because these two tracks are very different um, but yeah, this car has been a bit free flow at the moment um, understeer which I enjoy more than oversteer because I really don't like the back end stepping out that much but yeah this car is very good it's just it doesn't turn that well into the corners which we'll be able to fix. Probably just chase it down below, John. Give the fans something to see, might as well. Oh, Grosjean's slowing me down here. Break into the corner. Oh, contact made. We get past Grosjean there. I don't know if he was on a flying lap or not, so that's his bad. But into the final sector, we'll round it off nicely, and we're gonna get started here on the first lap. Pause in. Turn that to manual for this practice because they don't really do all that much. So let's do this real quick. And actually, I want to try and see if I can get top of the table. So give me a moment. P10, okay. Pretty poor. Come on, push it. Oh, 
what bit's so tricky to keep hold of. Oh, so is that if you have a lot of oversteer there? Two temps behind Vettel's time. Push, push, come on. Just give it everything. Come on, push. It's all up, our time. P3. I, I really tried there in this car and it got me P3. Oh, Pierre Gasly, Roman Grosjean, I'm in the fight. Let's. Check out this gander, shall we? Might as well. Gaz has got past Groge on there. Looks like these two are racing down the straight. See if I can catch up to him. Fuck it. <laughs> but yeah, I feel that's pretty much pre season testing over. So uh, I'll just try and have fun with Groge on here. And then we'll get to. Test. We'll get into the first Grand Prix. Uh, we'll do 25% races and one shot qualifying. Didn't mean to hit Rose on there. I'll uh, just. Um. I'm going to try and minimise the mistakes. So if you see a lot of flashbacks during Grand Prix, that's my bad. Oof. But this track I kind of have pinned down as a very minimalised mistakes track. I don't really make a lot of mistakes except from this corner here. If I just push it too hard, I just spin out about here. Uh, I think that's going to be the pre-season test over. And we'll confirm where we are at the end of the test. As we come in. See where we're placed. P3. I was three tenths behind Alexander Albon's fastest time, and that was 1.3 seconds ahead of Pierre Gasly. So I think that shows my stronger pace. But we don't know until we get to the actual season testing because if you look here. There's no Hamilton to be seen, he's P16, but he didn't do a time on the softs. So, let's get to Australia and see what happens. So, here we are. Melbourne, Australia. Toro Rosso. And you see Pierre Gasly. Over there. So, let's get into this, see what we have. Franz Toss, welcome here to the team. No, uh, I won't be doing practice sessions. But yeah, very clear skies for the season. So, as we see, we're kind of in the battle with Renault and Alfa Romeo. And you see Mercedes, Ferrari, Red Bull are a bit too far up for us to be catching at this season. So, let's just get started with um, some upgrades. So, yeah. Um, I'll see what this wants. I'll just skip it. I'll be back with you shortly. Alright, so we got through that boring part. So let's get into qualifying. Um, I'm going to hope for a top 10 in qualifying. We'll see how it goes though. You're actually asleep, aren't you? You can hear the crowd roaring for the first test of the season. I don't know where Anthony Davidson and, Dave and Crofty are. We'll find them later. But for now, it's time for qualifying. So let's get our correct attire ready. And let's go out there and perform a good lap. Alright, 
start off the season strong here. Oh, we're wide already into turn one. We've already messed it up. This ain't one of my strongest tracks, but we'll have to find a way to bring back the time. Because right now we're in last place, which isn't that great. <laughs> P18 Ooh, P19 now I'm guessing Kibitz is P20 Breaking Come on Push it At least I'm ahead of the Williams I'm going to guess because that 2019 car was slow like at least 2020's car could actually compete with some people 2019's was fucking horrendous but yeah I think it's looking like it's P18 for us here or maybe P19 if George Russell manages to actually put a rocket booster on the end of this car but I think this will be it for us P18 that was a Poor lap from us. Extremely poor. I'm actually disappointed in myself there. So, with that being said, let's get into the race. Oh, wait. Pierre Gazza got P16. So, we're not that far off our teammates, but still, it's not acceptable to be down here with the likes of Robert Kubica and George Russell. So, let's get into the race and improve on our position. New drivers, new cars, it's a new Formula One season. But it's the same Albert Park that we've come to know and love for more than two decades now, the place host to round one of a 21 race championship that takes us from here in Australia, across the globe, and the eventual season finale at the Yaz Island circuit in Abu Dhabi. The Melbourne circuit is certainly one that needs to be taken seriously. Its combination of slippery surfaces and difficult corners make it a tricky track when it comes to overtakes. Drivers find it hard to pass and will need to take full advantage of those DRS zones if they want to have any hope of breaking through. We have plenty of changes to the sport this year with tweaks to the regulations, a fresh looking spread of tyre compounds and of course some changes to the roster of car manufacturers. It's goodbye to Salva and hello once again to the classic name of Alfa Romeo in Formula 1. It's also goodbye to Force India, they've been rebranded as Racing Point. Joining me to take you through all the action of the 2019 Formula 1 season is Anthony Davidson and it's great to have you with us. Thanks Crofty, always happy to be here and I'm looking forward to getting underway. Last year was Mercedes' fifth Constructors title in a row, although for the first half of the season it was absolutely neck and neck with the Ferraris. Hopefully this year we can see the chasing pack take that final step, as I'd love to see a championship contest all the way up to the final race in Abu Dhabi. Another story to keep an eye on is the performance of Red Bull, who have switched to the Honda power unit this year. What that will mean for both their performance and reliability remains to be seen. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Vettel, Alexander Albon, and Verstappen, Perez, Magnussen, Norris, and Carlos Sainz, Hulkenberg, Stroll, Daniel Ricciardo, and Giovinazzi, Raikkonen, Gasly, Roman Grosjean and Mr. Monaco, Kubica and George Russell ends our grid lineup. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, be wary of the cars ahead breaking suddenly into one. We could ruin our race if we hit them. Good luck. So, as you heard there, a very exciting season ahead of us. Um, Alfa Romeo returned to sport, being replaced by uh, replacing Salba. Force India leaving sport, being rebranded as Racing Point. And also, uh, if you saw the grid position, Halton obviously in pole with Charles Leclerc alongside. Uh, and you can see straight ahead, P1, 
Pierre Gasly. Uh, but let's not go on them people, let's have a look at the strategy. Um, I think we'll do a medium to soft strategy here. Bring this down to about there. And I think we're ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. So, without further ado, the first race of the F1 2019 career mode. That is five red lights. And we're underway for the Australian Grand Prix. It's a decent start by us, but you can see Kibitza slowly coming down inside of us. As we go into turn one, Gasly making a dive bomb. We're trying to follow him through here. But we can't, and we're still in P18. Kibitz are finding a couple of positions there. But, if you look up front, Hamilton and Bottas, P1 and 2, as we go for a dive down inside of Raikkonen. We make a bit of contact with Pierre Gasly there. It's a decent start by us. We've got up two positions here. We'll have to back out of there. Pierre Gasly had a strong start. Moving up. And having a beautiful dive bomb which was stopped by Giovinazzi and Lance Stroll. As we can already see two trains forming as we go down the inside of Gasly but will he leave us the room? Yes he will. As we keep going and we have overtaken the Frenchman. And now we must chase after the Alfa Romeo of Antonio Giovinazzi. Beautiful first lap here, but now you can see that the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc, I think, has surpassed Valtteri Bottas, and now both Houghton and Leclerc are going to be running off with this racer, as it seems. Maybe there's a problem with Bottas's car at the moment, who knows? That might not even be Bottas. It is Bottas. But here we are, we're on the back of Antonio Giovinazzi here. Probably our rival for the season as we go down the outside. Oh, Giovinazzi hits us and we have to just back off. Already from lap one, it looks like our main rivals will be the car of Alfa Romeo. And to be fair, Alfa Romeo were fighting way ahead of where they actually should be last season because of their young star, Charles, Charles Leclerc who pushed that car so far up the grid whilst his teammate I don't think it was Giovinazzi at that point I can't remember who his teammate was but they didn't do a great job um, if I do say so myself here we go uh, lap 2 just about to finish off sector 2 here and beautiful break in there you can never go full acceleration down into that corner because if you hit the curb you will spin out and we're just trying to keep on the back of Giovinazzi keep him under the pressure here as he he has a poor exit and we get a chance and we get it down the inside Giovinazzi nearly went into the kitty litter or the gravel trap as we make it to P14 Charles Leclerc goes fastest throughout the circuit we have a 128.1 here. Here we go now, chasing after the racing point of large stroll here. We might have to cool down our tyres a bit. Hold on. I just realised I'm on the softs, not the mediums. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, I'm not. <laughs> Too busy concentrating on something else there where I shouldn't have been. Oh, wait. It looks like one of the Ferraris have... are out already. Reliability issues for... for Ferrari already in the first race of the season. Charles Leclerc. Out lap three. Could this be a sign of Ferrari throughout the season? And it looks like there's a train forming up ahead from looks like 13th to 7th here 
Let's hope we can get onto the back of this and make our way through some of these people. As we don't have DRS. Looks like it'll just be a DRS train for these people. But, as I was saying, I don't know why we're starting on softs. We're about to start mediums, but... Uh, well, we'll go soft to mediums then. Oh, I broke a bit too late there. And I could have got down inside a stroll, but I missed the opportunity to... But now we have DRS on Lance Stroll, but he also has DRS on Sides. Bit of a DRS train forming here. Alright, mix two we go. Push up to mix three though, as we get DRS again. But Stroll pulling away from us in with the Mercedes powered unit. As we go down the inside of Stroll, contact made. Again, contact. Stroll just pushing us out. Brilliant defended there by Stroll. No. <laughs> I always say that corner's difficult. Don't know why I stopped it there, but oh well. Damn it. I'm not having that. <laughs> Alright, let's forget that never happened, shall we? Well, let's keep going. Never go full acceleration out there either because you'll just get caught out and spun into the wall as you've seen. Oof. It's very tricky overtaking on this circuit as Crofty said. Break, 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 break. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, I need to itch. Uh. Oh, beautiful break in there. And executed perfectly. We need to catch up though. We're losing the train here. Giovinazzi is overtaken by his teammate Kimi Raikkonen. Where is Pierre Gasly? Oh, I see him. He's fighting the Alfa Romeo at the moment. As we're up here trying to fight the racing point of Lance Stroll, if we can catch him. Also, the Mercedes powered unit is OP. So who knows what could happen here. But we're staying a similar distance away from Lance Stroll here. Oh, come on, Pierre. Alright. Stroll keeping his distance as we go down with a dive bomb on the inside. As it works beautifully into our favour. And we overtake Lance Stroll. I didn't expect that, but I'm through. And now it looks like we're going after Carlos Sainz in the McLaren. And the McLarens are kind of overperforming from what they did last season. As we get down the inside of Carlos, we give him the room to try and get back at us, but we get through and we're in P11. Oh, this is great so far. Looks like the middle sector is not our strongest. First sector, if we get great bounce off. At the end, we can really pull through some speed. And it looks like we've done so, so far. But we have to cool down the tyres now, as... It's going to be a bit tricky to try and be fast towards the end of the stint here. But here we are. Oh, beautiful DRS engaged here. Pots of rich mix here. Yep, I know, Jeff. Shut up. Oh, it looks like during turn one I can get a bit more of a speed advantage. Tell Jeff to shut up. Trying to concentrate, yep. And we always break a lot later than the AI. Oh, look, a ding dong battle between Hulkenberg and Magnussen was taking place. Oh, Hulkenberg gets ahead. I never thought we'd be saying this first race in season, but. Looks like we'll be fighting for points. First race of the season. And we're green in first sector again. Looks like the first sector we can really hone in on and get some speed. As we've just left Stroll and Science back in our rear view mirrors. As we just catch on to this four-man train of 
Ricardo, Magnussen and Hulkenberg here could be up for four points here today as we just entered sector two with another green sector and more DRS whilst these men are having another ding dong battle through the DRS zone Magnussen has braking problem and that slows down Ricardo, which we can get down the inside of if they'll be fair <laughs> Here we go. Break. Magnuson and Hulkenberg again having a ding dong battle throughout the last sector. That's slowing down Ricardo here and allowing for us to catch him. And here we go. DRS enabled, but Ricardo also has DRS. Magnuson catching Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg trying to defend here. Beautiful show of speed and talent here by these two men. And we get DRS again. We nearly went to the back of Ricardo there. But Ricardo now fighting his teammate. Now, I guess we just sit back and watch these two. Oh, down the inside of Hulkenberg. Didn't expect that one. Oh, we have to go wide. And, oh, I have to get back the position there. Hulkenberg going slow here. This would cost us our points here. I wanted the four points, but now they're running away with it, and it's Hulkenberg, myself, Sites, and Stroll here. We've been severely slowed down by Hulkenberg. And Hulkenberg has an issue as well, so that doesn't help me at all here. Our teammate Gasly still fighting the Alpha Romeos here, where I need him up here in the field of battle for the midfield, not back there. It looks like he's also fighting the Hass of Grosjean, if he can even catch up to him. But now it's our job to catch up to the Hass and Renault of Ricardo and Magnussen. Also, we'll be going in a bit later than Norris is at the moment. Not that I'll sign it, sorry. But it looks like some people are going into the pits, including my teammate. As we just need to concentrate on Ricardo and Magnussen here. And it looks like the McLaren of Norris has stayed out. And you can see our tyres are starting to wear as we're losing traction with them. So I think this lap will be the time to pit. So box. What do you mean you can't take me right now? Oh shit, you can't take it right now. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. And it looks like. Oh. There's another failure behind us. Looks like one of the Alfa Romeos. Fuck is that? Oh, hair. Someone else retiring, I think, from this race. Antonio Giovinazzi retiring from the Grand Prix. It looks like the Ferrari powered cars are not having a good time around Australia. As now another provider of the Ferrari engine, Alfa Romeo, has one car out as well. And it looks like the car is going into the pit, so we'll follow him through. Beautifully there. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. I don't need to release the system, but you know. Oh, Stroll blocking off. Ricardo here. Come on. There we are. Alright, we've got good safety here with Ricardo. We have to push really aggressively with here when we come out the pits. And it looks like Sights. I'm going to be fighting Sites coming out the pits. As Sites just pips us. We've been... Sites perfectly manoeuvring the undercut on us. Now we're down in P12.
we have to really push these tyres hard, but we need to also save some fuel here, so it's going to be a bit of a difficult situation. Break into corner here. It's going to be a very difficult race here. So we have to balance fuel supply and tyres here. Oh, Sainz catch up to Ricardo as it seems here. Sainz and Ricardo, it looks like it's going to be an amazing battle between these two men up front. Nearly slid out there. Alright, we'll just go to standard now. And it looks like the Haas of Kevin Magnussen going to be neck and neck with Ricardo, or is he just going to be overtaken, he's been overtaken, we've got a warning for Connor put in there, that's my bad, but it looks like K-Mag on the hard tyre for some reason, has been overtaken by both Sites and Ricardo, it looks like the undercut is the way around Australia, very poor strategy choice there by Haas, as they've now lost their points, or their very hard earned points, their four points to be more exact, around Melbourne Park as we have overtaken Magnussen for P10, but Magnussen isn't going to go away quietly here. But we need to catch up to science here and make this a four man battle. As we're just coming through sector two. I think Hamilton still leading the race, followed by Vettel, Bottas, Albert and Verstappen, with Perez as well up there. Oh, Magnussen side by side with us. Got to cut him off here. Oh, nearly late breaks into the corner there by us. We put down the power but Magnuson got DRS so we might as well just save fuel here Very difficult Grand Prix here. As we can see, Science is pulling out the gap to us. To now two seconds. So it looks like it'll be a battle for just one point today. Unless someone else retires in this thrilling Grand Prix. It'll be very tricky to take people around here. But we have gone from P18 to P10, so I consider this a very successful day. But to be fair, we'd still be fighting for P12 if there are no retirements. Well, we're going to have to push, push, push. We'll save the fuel later, but we need to push right now. And get on the back of these two men up here. As we know, Magnussen is on the slowest compound tyre. So if we use that to our advantage, we can just blast off here. As here we go. You can see Magnussen far behind, I think that's less than a second here. Oh, it's just over a second, so it looks like Magnussen does not have DRS. Which means he'll be under fire from Lance Stroll. Also in the racing point. We break it into the corner here. Hold on, let me check this. Yeah, we are. I thought it was capturing my... Uh, the game audio there for a second but here we go we're catching up steadily to these two men up front but we need it off so we can get DRS off them and right now our, our fuel says no and our engine is a bit overheated but hold on a second where did we get that damage from oh Scrape on the end plate there. We should keep pushing here. 
no matter what, we need the DRS off sites here. We'll save the fuel on the final lap, I know we can. Or we'll just save it into corners. There we go. Alright, we're just outside the DRF zone now. As you can see right there, 1.1 seconds splitting me and Carl Sight here. So I think next lap we will have DRS. Which will help us to save fuel. Oh, we can have DRS this lap as Sight's getting slowed down by Daniel Ricardo here. We can't afford to be lazy here. We have to push it with everything we've got. As Alonso says, fast now, save later. As we're on the back of Carlos Sainz here. Save the fuel whilst we're behind him. Just don't let him get too far ahead of us though. As here we are with overtake on. And down the inside as we get I think we've got Carlos Sainz there he's still there but we've officially got the move on him P9 but he's also got DRS from Daniel Ricciardo so I think this is going to be a DRS train here if we let him fight Ricciardo this will be positive news for us put down the throttle at the right time there but we need to save fuel and if that means that he decides back past to fight Ricardo, it'll be what it needs to be slow down we'll just go behind Carlos Sainz and he causing damage to our front wing we need to see Sainz blast off whilst he took some damage to our front wing there Maybe we should have turned so harsh. No, I'm not taking that front wing damage. Never mind, we are. But it looks like P10 might be our finishing position here as we cannot drive any faster as our, our car has a bit of damage from science. We just need to keep up with him. Hulkenberg back up speed. Just stay behind science here. No, I can't. He's not going to catch Ricardo in time. We need to. No, oh, for fuck's sake. It looks like break our breaking has been a bit deterred by science's damage on our front wing and the turning in speed is not that great either and breaking into corner now late breaking again <sighs> Carlos has really ruined our, uh, our breaking here because look, we're just going so wide into the corner. And we can't really bring up the full speed here. It's like P10 will have to be it here for us. Unless we just absolutely crush this lap. Get past him and then it's over. We need speed. And we've got it. So let's use it. Just break a tad bit earlier than you need to. You'll make it to corner. Okay. We'll have to take Peter as well as we'll just run out of fuel and not have Peter. So. Looks like P10 will be it for us. The race yet not finished. Come on. 
I want P9 but I don't know if I can get it and I don't have DRS in the bar Valtteri Bottas winning the Australian Grand Prix break it to inside Bottas finding a way past his teammate to secure the win and Bottas will be taking the lead of the drivers championship for the first race but it looks like one point for us in this race will be it as first race of the season in the career mode I will take that beautiful drive by myself there I tried to catch science but the damage that it caused on my front wing did not help Why, the, why is the dogs barking so much? Perez P6. That's got to be a good performance from the rated point there. Bottas, Hamilton, Vettel. Top three. Red Bull nowhere to be seen on the podium. I'm guessing they finished fourth and fifth. Yep. Yes, got driver of the day. But Gasly not being able to get past the other Alfa Romeo of Kimi Raikkonen, unfortunately. But guys, that's it for this episode of F1 Career Mode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe. You're awesome. Um, thank you all for watching. And next episode, we are at the desert of Bahrain. So, I'll catch you all there. Thank you for watching. Take care and peace.